स्केच t माइनस फोर यू ऑफ t माइनस टू माइनस यू ऑफ t माइनस फोर फर्स्ट एनालाइज द प्रॉब्लम हियर t माइनस फोर इज आस एंड यू आर आस्ट टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस विद u ऑफ t माइनस टू माइनस यू ऑफ t माइनस फोर सो फर्स्ट राइट u ऑफ t u ऑफ t दैट इज द यूनिट स्टेप फंक्शन इज वन फॉर t ग्रेटर देन और इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड जीरो वन t लेस देन जीरो and please draw the graphical representation of u of t for t that is it is 1 for 0 and more than 0 so this is the u of t now asked is u of t minus 2 when we say u of t minus 2 then it is write down all the possible values u of 0 The amplitude is one for u of one. The amplitude is one u of two u of three. We'll take th four instants. So now for u of t minus one, how it how will it be? It will be u of zero minus plus two u of one plus two because you have been asked to. Delay the signal by two. Two plus two. Three plus three. That is u of two, u of three, u of four, and u of five. The amplitude is the same. There is no change in amplitude. So this is the new instance that has been obtained. Having this, please draw the graph. Now your u of t, t value starts from two, three, four, five. Okay, it starts from two. It goes on. So now the signal has been delayed by two. The next, so we have done the first part. The next is t minus u of t minus four. For this again, draw for u of t, and then draw for u of t minus four. This one again says the signal has been shifted or uh, shifted to its right, or the signal has been delayed. Now u of t, you have to write from the first. U of zero is one. U of one is one. Please copy the same thing. U of two is one. U of three is again one. Okay, now for u of t minus four, it will be u of zero plus four, u of one plus four, u of two plus four, u of three plus four. That will give you u of four, u of five, u of six, u of seven. Now the amp amplitude remains the same. Now the graphical representation for u of t minus four is given as u of t minus four. Now this is t minus two. From four, five, six, seven, it starts from four. It starts from four and it goes on, and the amplitude is one. So we have got. U of t minus one and u of t t minus two t minus four. So this is the first step. Next, you have to subtract the two as your question demands. U of t minus two minus u of t minus four. So you have to subtract the second signal from the first signal. Having U of t minus two, u of t minus four. You're going to subtract the two signal. Okay, so let's draw a new graph, which is for u of t minus two minus u of t minus four. So two signals are getting subtracted. For this, write the t value: zero, one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, we'll write till five. 
fine now at zero it is zero here also zero no value at one both the way signal zero at two the amplitude is one whereas at two here the amplitude is zero so this point becomes one minus zero one minus zero that is nothing but one at three again the amplitude is one here it is zero so again one minus zero that is one at four it is one and one so here one minus one it will become zero at five again it will become zero let me repeat two signals are taken from the from the first signal you have to subtract the second signal so the amplitudes of each are compared okay so the new signal uh, the new graph has been drawn so at instance zero the value the amplitude is zero here again the amplitude is zero so zero minus zero we have marked here at one the amplitude is zero here zero so we have marked zero but at two the amplitude is one okay here again it's zero so one minus zero it is one three again you have one minus zero okay but when you come for four the amplitude is one here and the amplitude is one so one minus one will give you zero so this is your final graph drawn okay this is the graph drawn or this is a graph that has been obtained when you subtract two signals before moving on we will write the signal that has been obtained we will draw the signal 0 1 2 3 4 so this is u of t minus 2 minus u of t minus 4 1 next is to find t minus 4 t minus 4 for this you are going to use y intercept you are going to use y intercept it says any line can be graphically drawn using two points okay the y intercept concept says any line can be graphically drawn using two points okay so for that we have to consider input and output input output so our output is going to be x is equal to t minus 4 let's draw this our output is going to be x is equal to t minus 4 from the problem so what will be our input our input is going to be t okay our input is t and our output is x is equal to t minus 4 Okay, having this as input and having this as output, let's give the value for t. Give different values of t. So, I have given minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, let's give for all 6. For this, the output will be minus 2, minus 4. So, it will be minus 2 minus 4 that will give you 6 minus 6 minus 1 minus 4 minus 5 0 minus 4 1 minus 4 2 minus 4 I have just substituted the value of t in the output 3 minus 4 4 minus 4 5 minus 4 6 minus 4 and the result is minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, so this is the input and this is the output that has been obtained. As y intercept says, any line can be drawn or any line can give you a graphical representation if you have two points. Okay. So now the two points will be input comma output. Okay, you can call it input comma output. Input comma 
output. So the graph will be minus 2 comma 6, minus 2 comma minus 6, minus 1 comma minus 5, 0 comma minus 4, 1 comma minus 3, 2 comma minus 2, 3 comma minus 1, 4 comma 0, 5 comma 1, 6 comma 2. So these are the values. Having this, please draw the graph. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Now please plot the graph. Now when we say input, it is x axis and output y axis. Okay, so having y intercept, you're, go you're going to find the input and output. And once it is found, then you have to draw for t minus 3. All this is done to find the graph for t minus 4. Okay. So now plot it. Minus 2 minus 6. So x axis is this is x axis right. You know it. This is x axis and this is y axis. So at minus 2 it is minus 6. So where is minus 2? Minus 2 it is here. It is at minus 6. Next, minus 1, minus 5. Minus 1, minus 5. Then, 0, minus 4. X-axis 0, Y-axis minus 4. 1, minus 3. X-axis 1, Y-axis minus 3. 2, minus 2. X-axis 2, Y-axis minus 2. 3, minus 1. So, 3 minus 1. 4, 0. 4, 0. 5, 1. 5, 1. 6, 2. 6, 2. Okay. So, the graph obtained is this. This is the graph for T minus 4. Actually, it's a straight line. It's a straight line. Okay. It's a straight line that cuts minus 4 and 4. This is the graph for T minus 4. So for U of T. This was the graph. U of T minus 2 minus U of T minus 4. Okay. And for T. This was the graph for T minus 4. Okay. So this is how the two graphs that have been obtained. Next is you have to multiply the graphs. Okay, in order to multiply, this is the uh, signal 1. Okay, this is signal 2. You have to multiply the two signals. For that, again, draw. Okay, now this is for T minus 4. U of T minus 2 minus U of T minus 4. Okay, the complete signal. Now draw 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the x-axis. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so now we are going to compare the amplitude at each instance. For 1, what is the value? There is... 
nothing okay at here it is 0 so 0 into 0 0 forget it so let's start from 2 it starts from 2 so before that it is 0 so if you multiply it will be 0 okay from 2 at 2 what is the amplitude it is 1 at 2 here what is the amplitude what is the amplitude it is minus 2 okay so it is minus 2 1 into minus 2 will give you minus 2 i repeat the amplitude at 2 is 1 here the amplitude is minus 2 so 1 into minus 2 will give you minus 2 then at 3 okay at 3 what is the amplitude it is 1 at 3 what is the amplitude minus 1 okay it is minus 1 so 1 into minus 1 at 3 this is your amplitude minus 1 okay at 4 next is at 4 what is the amplitude it is 0 what is the amplitude 0 so again it will be 0 okay so now you have to draw the graph like for 2 it was minus 2 then it moved on to 1 and 5 okay and finally it touched 4 so it will be this way okay so this is a new signal that has been obtained at 2 the amplitude is 2 at 3 it is minus 1 0 so this is the final output of P minus 4, U of P minus 2, minus U of P minus 4.